Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And today we will be testing out the new Bikini Shion. Probably one of the best support units in the game for her meta. Uh, you know, I would consider her up there with the hero. She doesn't have a rewind skill, but she does bring a lot to the table. So very, very quick overview, magic damage. AoE alt has a 3 turned 50% chance to dodge bind on the alt. First skill is a massive 50% water attack boost. Second skill is a guaranteed crit and 10% magic attack boost for all allies. And then her trait is every 2 turns you get 5 protection gauge. So there is a lot wrapped up in Xion's uh, tight package, I guess. Oh man, we're starting. <laughs> we're starting early with this, aren't we? All right. So, um, I don't think I'm gonna do a big mommy damage test because she is a support unit, and she's got two major buffs on her. So I don't think it's really necessary. So let's just dive into actual battles with her uh, as a support unit. All right. So this is the first team we're gonna run. It's the new water team. It's got ev well, yeah, it's got everybody. It's got Milam, it's got Rimru, Shuna, Geld for the orb changing and giveaway, Shion, and then Velzard for oh, for the uh, for the DPS as soon as we fix something. Yeah, we don't talk about that. <laughs> Just pretend you didn't see that and didn't see that I've been unknowingly running Velzard at a level nine skill for the past seven months. <laughs> Anyways, Crucible 80 something, 85 against Guy. We're going to be using hopefully both of Shion's buffs along with Shuna's buff, and we'll see just how hard Velzart can hit now. I will go back and I will check how hard uh, Shuna hits by herself, or how hard Velzart hits by herself on this stage. And then we'll uh, we'll add in these two buffs. Actually, we'll we'll, we'll do that now. What are we talking about? All right, let's just do Velzard and Shuna's alt boost for the first time, and then we'll see how much additional damage we get out of Shion's supports. It'll be a very good comparison because I mean those are two massive support boosts: fifty percent water attack, guaranteed crit, and magic damage. I mean, Velzar didn't need all of that help, and she got it anyways. Alright, so let's start working on... let's get you in here. Go ahead and send these. Alright, that's a lot of orange there, which we can do something about. So let's do that. Let's get Geld out of here for Shuna. And then let's do that. And pop, 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 pop. Maximum Millum. So we got two stacks right there. We just need a Velzard alt now, huh? Just need a Velzard alt. So let's uh, let's play around and wait for that. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So let's. Uh... Yeah, let's get, let's get, let's just stack E3 up. Yeah, we don't have to watch that. Alright, there's one. There's two. Uh, how high is your attack stat? Hold on. 71... 85. Alright, let's get Geld in here for Shuna. Yeah. So your attack stat is lower, right? 67, okay, so definitely lower. So let's do this. All right, and then, oh, we cannot send everything over to you. That's unfortunate, right, because we hadn't gotten any stacks yet. All right, well, whoops daisies We will continue working on that. We can send the blues over to her with Geld next turn. We should have enough points for that. Or, hold on. Oh, we just didn't get any Velzard orbs. Okay, so we'll just get her out of here. And we'll send the Rimurus. 
We'll bring Velzard in for Geld next turn. That will definitely get her ult. As long as no one dies. Alright, no one died. Velzard for Geld. Pop, 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 pop. 123 points. Alright, we have another stack. Alright, cool. And this will not kill, so we're in perfect position right here. Alright, so let's get one more stack. So that's three stacks of Milim on Velzard. We're going to use her own attack boost, the Frostbite, and then the ult boost and the water resistance down. And then we will compare how much damage we do on this turn versus another turn with everything from Shion. So we'll just launch the alt and we will do we'll do 59-4. Alright, so 59-4 is the standard that we set. We'll be back when we have that nuking turn ready with the uh, with Shion. Okay, we are back. We are about to apply our third stack of uh, Milim right here. So we are at 180 points, so that is two stacks 40 plus 40, so let's get a third stack in, so therefore we keep this as, you know, close to the same as possible. We have her attack boost and pierce buff already on, so we will apply the water attack, the crit, the ult, and the frostbite, and now we will compare. 59,000 damage to start, and now we do... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's, uh, it's 139,000 and change. Definitely some good support. Also a very good ending screen for Shion. Um, sorry, what? <laughs> yeah. Definitely made an impact on that uh, that alt damage right there. Let's uh, let's go into uh, let's say Efreet next. Okay, we're gonna try this stage again, but we're gonna do a different team. I wanted to run this team in Tempered Edge, but I forgot that the Water Tempered Edge nerfs Greens for like five turns, and so Chloe would not be a good choice for that stage. So we're gonna go back into Con uh, Crucible. 85 versus guy and hopefully make this work we got the alt boost we've got pierce we've got shion and we've got velzard now so will this work better or worse than you know the new bikini millum i don't know we don't have shuna on this team we're still getting an alt boost from chloe it's not as high it's 40 percent versus 70 but we are at least getting the extra 30 percent water resistance down because that's what alice has on her pierce uh skill so we do get that. We just have to get enough points again to get there, which we could, I'm pretty sure we can get as long as we can get lucky on some orbs in the starting turn. Eh. Um, let's go ahead and do that. That was a waste of a skill. All right, well. <laughs> Velzard in for Rimuru. We'll send these. Alright, and then we've got blues coming in. Okay, we can get Chloe online next turn. Where's she on? There's she on. Bring her in for Valentine. There we go. Pop, 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 pop. Alright, now give me a whole hand of green and oranges right here. That would be quite nice. Almost. We can use. Uh, Alice's orb change though. So let's do that. Change that blue. Change these. Raise our skill cap. Uh, haven't used Chloe in a hot minute. Should still work pretty well. Alright, so 91 points. We need how many for this to work? 110, 165, 180, 195 points, I think. For everything said and done, 165, 180, yeah, 195. So we need 104 more skill points. Alright, well, 
we can at least get another hand, or another Chloe. So that'll get us to 180. Please give me a good... Ooh, ooh! Actually, that works out. All right, so let's go ahead and use... Ooh, Alice, you're hurting. Let's use the attack boost with Velzard, and we'll send her away, and we'll send Alice away, since you're being slaughtered over there. All right, and then we'll bring you in, and that'll be an entire hand of greens now, after we change with Chloe. And then we'll send this, and we'll be looking pretty good as far as skill points. Yep, and we have another Chloe, so we can definitely use everything in another turn after this, because we have to get up to 180 again. So... Uh, pop, pop, pop. That's max points right there. Alright, perfect. Actually, let's do this, because I want to save a Valentine card so we can have someone to swap out. Alright. So max skill points, we have Chloe, that way we can get that 40% alt boost guaranteed. Blues are nerfed now, orange are nerfed now, I don't really care. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring in Velzard for Valentine. Yes. Yes, alright. And then we'll bring in Alice for Rimuru. And we shall use all of the buffs, so Pierce, Frostbite, Water attack and crit and magic attack. Velzar does get that. Alright. And then we will use the alt boost, which I think is still boosted, but we'll use it again anyways, just for funsies. It does not stack. It's still 40% across the board. Yeah, see. 40-40, but one's grayed out. Alright, so we have pretty much everything ready. Attack by 30, pierce power... Pierce rate, water attack, crit rate, magic attack, alt boosting, water resistance down on Guy. I don't think we're going to hit, hit like 130 something, but I think we should still hit a very respectable number. Let's find out. Maybe 90? 90, 90 to 100k? 81. Oof, okay, much less. Alright. About 10k less than what I thought. Alright, but it can still work, right? Like, Shion still gives fantastic support, and that's much better than just the, you know, just the Shuna all by herself and Velzard, right? Because that was like 59. So we still did 80-something versus 59 versus 139, but that's, you know, with the water stacks and all that, and the higher attack, or the higher alt boost from 70% instead of 40%. Alright. I, uh... Okay, let's move on now to Conquest, I think. All right, so we're going to change up the teams a little bit for EX E3. We're going to see if this works. We're going to see if it works. No guarantee that it does. But we're going to imagine a time where you don't have Velzar and you don't have any of the other new water units because you love Xion and you want her to support your old, old slightly OG water team besides Chloe. Like, you pulled Chloe. We could we could put Millam in here for all we care. Like, we could. You know what? Let's do it. Let's put Millam in here. Let's swap her around. Alright. Completely OG water team. Except you pulled Xion. How well will it work? Will she be able to support our DPS as Soe? We've got, you know, defense and orb changing, orb changing, healing. He's also orb changing. You're fantastic support like you take three units worth of supports into one character so i mean it's pretty good so let's find out i have not used this team yet so it's a learning experience for everybody yes um can we get milim online though we have defensive skills yuki gives defense um soe gives defense we get guard from Milam. But we don't have a lot of points to use because she caps at 100. Oh. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you say so, I guess we can do that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I, 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 okay, I have no answers. Uh, let's. let's bring Xion in for Yuki and yeah 
Who has a higher attack stat, actually? 71... 73, okay. And you're weak against physical? Yes, alright, so yeah, we'll send you last. Alright, so we got off to a great start. 33, 34, 38, so yeah, definitely... Definitely hitting a bit harder. One from the element or the advantages, and then two from having just a higher attack stat. All right, there's the crit. That's fine. We'll go ahead and we'll put some defense up, and then we will guard. And the good thing that Soe's defense skill boosts uh, uh, it increases blue orb damage. So I mean, we do like blues. Uh, let's do this. Let's burn some of these oranges out of here. We can get Milam online for another turn. Not now, but we can at least get it online. So that hurt a little bit. There's another. Oranges are nerfed now. So let's heal. Alright, so we'll recover a little bit from that. We don't need to guard again. But I also don't have a way of changing... Actually, well, so I could change a couple of them. So let's do... Let's do this. Let's do... Yeah, let's do this. And then maybe we'll just get an entire hand of so I. Almost. Alright. Hurts again. Alright. Oh, we guarded. Alright, that's cool. So, our guard is leaving next turn. Let's go ahead and orb change here. And now we kind of just want to build up some points. That way we can use the buffs from Xion for Soe's ult. Again, this is not a good team to run a big, super, like, 110 point skill buffer right here. We don't have a cap. Or we don't have a cap increase. We don't really have a way of getting extra orbs. Alright, Soe, you're kind of hurting, so we're going to get you out of here for now. Uh, Shion, you're also in pain. Let's get you out. And then we'll pop the guard again. Alright. Um, how long are these nerfed for? One more turn? Okay, let's get some greens. Let's get some, let's get some points, right? 68 points. So I could... Alright, so now, alright, so that's fine. We'll run one more turn, that way we get his alt out of the way. And then, we'll be ready to rock. I'll bring Soe in, and use a boost, and then I'll send him away. So we'll do, uh, we'll do... Actually, no, we got to do this first, so let's do that. Alright, and then... Pop some blues here. Maximum points. So then, yeah, next turn we'll bring Soe in, and then we will use the water buff, and then we'll send Soe away, and then we'll get back to 55 points, and then we'll use the other buff from Xion if... Ifrit lives long enough, actually. Definitely not really looking to spend eight turns in this fight. <laughs> but, man, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So let's take out Rimuru. Okay. Let's use the water buff. Alright, and then we'll swap you out. And then we just have to get more points. We'll use guard, that way we don't die here. Alright, and then pop, pop, pop. Alright, so we're ready to... Ooh, close. Please don't counter. Don't counter. Don't do it. Alright, good. Alright. So, let's bring Soe in for Rimuru, yes. That's a very good hand right there. Let's go ahead and use the crit and magic attack boost, which Soe will not get anything from the second part, because he's obviously a physical attacker. But, let's see how much damage we can do with 50% water increase and guaranteed crits. And we'll use Millen for funsies, because we got it. Alright. I'm thinking probably about... 
60k on this. I don't expect much higher than that. We don't have like an alt boost. He's again not getting that extra magic boost. Let's see. 60k is what I'm shooting for. <sighs> oh, 37k. Okay, definitely not as good. Alright. So. Can it work? Yes. Look at that stretch. Look at just the, the personality going on right here. Okay, so it can work, right? It's not great. You can stay alive if you have good units and good gear. Probably not the best ideal showcase for her. So let's go into Tempered Edge now, and we'll use the Chloe team. And we'll get, you know, three different teams, three different leaders, and we'll see how well she works. She should work much better on the Chloe team than this team. All right, I think we'll uh, I think we'll stop the showcase there. I think we got a very good starting look at what Xion can do as a mainline supporter. Uh, we never altered with her once, but I'm not overly concerned with that. There is no stage that currently binds us, so uh, we wouldn't really gain anything from that effect. And she's an AOE, and so I'm like, she's not meant to do damage. She's there to help other people do damage. I will do a separate video taking her into Tempered Edge, and there we will ult with her, I promise. Uh, still, it doesn't bind you, though, so we're going to have to wait until Jubilee Catalyst rolls around to see how much fun that's going to be. But overall thoughts after using Xion are she is very, very strong. Much, much help to the water team, regardless of what team you're running, because we used, what, three different teams in the showcase? And we could tell the difference in support and damage output on all three of those teams. So I'm very pleased with the Xion showcase. I'm very glad that we got a DPS with the Bride Xion, and now we have a good support Xion. Do I wish that we had more variety of units and not just another Xion? Yeah. But I mean, you can't really do a bikini season without Xion. Let's just be honest with you. <laughs> Let's be honest here. I think would be a gross mishandling of their fan base <laughs> if they didn't put Xion in bikini and make it sell. So, again, Xion, very, very powerful support unit. If you have a good water team, I highly suggest that you pull for her because she will help you here and she will help you later on in other Jubilees that require the water team. I, I think she'll be a very good pull for you. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments of Xion. Are you pleased that she is a very godly support unit, or do you wish that she was something different? Let me know. But that's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you later.